Welcome to my review of Zachary's 25 cent ramen. This ramen had a pretty standard cooking process. I essentially took 100 shrimp, fried them up in some oil with some extra spices, made sure to get some sizzle on them. You can listen here. Then made my ramen, added a little bit of spices to it, poached an egg in another container, and set it all together and ate it. After that long cooking process, I had kind of produced a ramen that combined all of the ingredients in a really interesting and engaging way. I mean, really, I'm just proud of what I did with this ramen, and you can see my first reaction to having the ramen right now. So, this is my official review of Zach's Ramen. Um, I've got it mixed up in here. I'm really excited to taste this and see how it goes. So. Wow. Oh my god. That is some of the greatest ramen that costs 25 cents that I've ever tasted. This is worth so much more than anything else that anyone could potentially put into the square jar. The umami flavor. Is really coming coming across to me as the most fantastic part. I think I'll cut to my full review. And that brings us to my reflections, both on the ramen and on this experience as a whole. I'd say that this experience has been an enlightening one. I felt what it's like to like truly enjoy food for the first time in my life. I feel like I really now, for the first time, understand the difference between suffering and joy, between pain and love. And it's all rooted in my experiences with this ramen. I mean, without this ramen, would I have ever been happy? What was my life like before this ramen? Was there even life before this ramen? All of these questions I asked. Really though, the ramen came out quite well. I enjoyed the combination of the salty shrimp and the savory ramen. It crisped up a little, a little brown on the outside. Really brought out a lot in the ramen. The inclusion of large amounts of MSG helped to flavor the ramen. And the additions of chili oil and an egg helped to bring a little pizzazz into the ramen. I found it a really interesting experience to take this ramen and make it my own. I found myself eating this ramen for the next few days, along with lots of shrimp. And most of all, I made this ramen for all of you. So you can know what it's like to taste Zach's ramen. And with that, it's Jack's Food Reviews, signing out. Thanks for watching.